Recently, Forbes listed cans as one of the best innovation in past few years. And why shouldn't they? It combines the best of generative approaches and minimax algorithms used in games. So today, we're going to present a bird's eye view of cans based on foundational paper laid by Ian Godfellow. The intention is to keep the theory as simple as possible. Now knowing the intuition behind generative models is like understanding our grandma who is knitting sweaters on a rocking chair. We are quite interested in how the sweaters are generated out of woolen thread. Similarly, in a generative model, we are looking into causation, probability distribution which is generating manga art or the distribution which is generating the Beethoven's music. And if we are able to model this, we may as well generate newer and newer manga art by sampling from the distribution. This kind of models are called generative models. Now there's more than one way to do that. You can either look into explicit models which are trying to learn the parameters of the distribution of data. On the contrary, the implicit model don't bother to learn the distribution of data. Instead, they focus on stochastic procedure that directly generates the data. GANs fall into this category. Let's get sucked into theory of GANs. Now Ian Godfellow describes the process with an apt example of cop and thief. Thief tries to fool the cop into believing that he has good intentions. That's the role of generator. On the other hand, the cop tries to separate the thief from the innocent muggles. That's what the discriminator does. We push both the innocent muggles and thief through the model and it is supposed to make the model confident about the predictions. On the contrary, the generator has to create better and better thief, like Christopher McCandless forging currency. So the objective function for the generator is to increase the chance of fooling the discriminator. And over the period, the thief will become a better thief and the cop will become a better cop. Unless the thief becomes really really smart, in which case the discriminator will be eternally confused. Now it's the math of GANs which excites me the most. Let's say we have a latent vector Z. I magically generate an image GZ out of it. So now, what I try to do is to apply the discriminator D over the real image X and the generated image GZ. The intention of the loss function is to push the predictions for real image towards 1 and for the fake images to 0. So how do we do that? We do so by log probability term. If you observe the joint loss function, we are maximizing the discriminator term, which means log dz should inch closer to 0, and log of d of g of z should be closer to 1. On the contrary, the generator has some other view. It's trying to make d of g of z inch closer to 1, while the discriminator is trying to do the opposite. Getting back to the paper, we have this figure which gives a very nice summary of math intuition behind GANs. In this diagram, Green line shows the distribution function learned by a generator. The dotted black line is the actual probability distribution of samples. The blue line is the discriminative distribution for each value in domain x. As you can observe, the first subfigure is having mismatch between the generator's distribution and the actual data's distribution. And hence, the blue line is able to differentiate both. It's converging to p data divided by p model plus p data. That's the case with the first three subfigures, where the blue dashed line of the discriminator is higher when the odds of actual data over the generated are higher. But if we glance over the subfigure 4, the generator starts to represent the actual data's distribution. That's when the blue line becomes straight with a value of 0.5. This is the ideal case where the discriminator is always confused. So that's it. So this video is only the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more to learn, like what's mode collapse, or why is it difficult to achieve equilibrium in GANs? What are the other ways of doing it like WGANs and so on? These are the things which we are going to cover in the subsequent videos. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Crazy Muse.